it's Jonna the preppy crafty girl and I am back with five more botanical kits this one will be called kit number five and it is going to have a more of a daisy theme the other ones are don't really have a theme they're all just kind of botanical in nature and this is botanical in nature however this has a daisy theme so uh i have there's some pages in here that are more like there's some birds and trees and things like that but for the most part i've just collected and noticed i had a lot of things with daisies in them as i was going through my things and so i just pulled all the daisy stuff together and came up with this kit uh, like some old advertisements, there was just like Breath of Spring and it says our perky arrangement of permanent field daisies fairly bursts from an authentic reproduction of an old pewter measure. I mean, just, you know, and then here's prune juice, which is funny, but there's daisies in there. Here is a book in June and then it had a daisy chain around it. Then I've got some daisy centerpieces and recipes. There was a recipe for a, a daisy marble cake. Uh, this one is just a daisy return ball. Return ball a daisy. Uh, this one had a daisy on there too. This one just is uh, had the bird um house and talked about roses but and it had, had a little quail so i thought that was really sweet i thought i'd add that in this has easter daisies and then we'll get into some birds tree trees uh, nature scene two pages one on a plant search and the other one is about leaves from a science book, student science book, and early English gardening, flower arranging book. This is just a nature page out of a book. A coloring book page. Now, some of the pages are gonna be folded because they will not, for shipping purposes, uh, I want to offer uh, free shipping and I also want to send it out priority and the priority flat mailer is a certain size so in order to keep the shipping down but so that you get it quickly so you get inspired and you know you want your uh, products soon so I'm trying to I tried to to uh, keep it to that down to that size so some some of your pages will be folded and they are all vintage items, so there will be some wear and tear, some like browning around the edges and things like that, but you know, you can't beat uh, the really cool, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, images from vintage book pages. This one is Kara Rhododendrons. This was out of a 1970s gardening book. And then here you have some wildlife, again, nature, and some insects. What to grow in your garden. Oh, oops, sorry, that fell out of, sorry, that fell out off the other pack. This has a garden. Okay, then let's go through these pages and I'll try to go through as quickly as I can. Here is a uh, embroidery map. That was out of Mary Englebright book. This was some um, really cool watercolored appearing butterfly wrapping paper. So 
I just gave you a big long strip of it and then you can sit and fussy cut it or however you want, but it has like an iridescent kind of glow to it. It's really cool, wall, uh, not wallpaper, wrapping paper. And here's another image page. This was out of the Mary Englebright book. Here's a May Day Daisy crown. So you can teach yourself how to make a daisy crown and it's adapted from the Mother Nature's Toy Shop from 1918. This is some um, uh, decoupage. So you can cut it out and decoupage it or just use as is. It's very thin paper, great for decoupaging. I just tossed this in because it was yellow. It's just that book end, like an end page out of a book. So I tossed that in. And then this had daisies in the background. It's a pump. Uh, there's a card with daisies on it. It does, it is a um, may you soon be well card. However, you know, you could always just cover over that or fussy cut around. This is an Eric Carl flashcard set I got. So this is an Eric Carl, his illustrations. And then I just put some daisy fabric strip around it. Make a great book cover. The, here is a ad for the Gibson oven. It says, ups a daisy, deep well cooker. I had to put this in. I just thought that was so, so cute. More of the decoupage paper. Here's a little yo-yo, sweet little yo-yo. A girl with a daisy chain. The cover of the Ideal magazine because it had a basket with daisies in it and a pretty garden scene on the back. Just because this was yellow, it's just a little notepad that said things I'd rather not do today. A playing card with daisies on it. And a butterfly sticker. This says, Verdant Hillsides Attract the Botanist at All Times. Just a flashcard. Some of the embroidery, little piece of embroidery fabric, so you can kind of practice. The cover of a work basket from March 1961. I love the yellow kind of theme and also the uh, centerpiece on there. This has a field guide, it has a little daisy flower head. Here is a page out of a little golden book. And she's sweet. A frog. A, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But anyway, I think, oh, it's, uh, it looks like a Gerber daisy. Yeah, Gerber daisies. Some more, I fussy cut out this for you, saved you from having to fussy cut. Field guide, daisies, of course, because that's the theme. A tree page out of a field guide, a notepad paper. Here is a notepad paper, it had daisies on the bottom. It's like of a window and a view out. And I'm throwing this one in too, so I'm giving a blank one, I'm giving this one. Some little old lady, I bought this at an estate sale, and this is her little, um, you know, notes for her cop for her shopping list. I thought it was really sweet, so I'm, I'm just putting that in there. If you go for collaging, a, another book page. I am going to put the smaller things in this little envelope, and I stamped it with some vintage stamps that I had. One that says sample, and then file. Grow. A little gift card. And here she is with her little daisies all around her. She's so cute. So this was double sided. She has flowers on too. Yeah, and so does she. A page that has daisy. And let's slide this stuff down. Sorry for the glare on this. I just, somebody else, I didn't cut this out. Somebody else had cut 
this out. I got like a stack of these. So I just tossed that one in. I brought these back from Denmark. They are some kind of name card. They are, I guess, a name card and uh, like a place card. So but I thought she was really sweet. Uh, these are definitely from the 60s. And I thought I would toss one of those in for you. And then I have a few sheets of uh, vintage wrapping paper. And look at her, she's so cute. Here is a handkerchief with some little daisies on it. I'm not gonna iron this for you, sorry. It is cleaned, but I'm not ironing. <laughs> you have to iron yourself. Here's a little piece of fabric, a little square piece of fabric, and a watercolored garden scene. So this is going to be kit number five in the shop, and I'm going to put these up. So when you watch this, they will be available in my Etsy shop, Preppy Crafty Girl. I will put the link below. And if you don't see the link, just click the little arrow, down arrow, and it'll open it up and or you can click over on the left i think it's the show more and then my links will come up and i'm also going to time stamp the kits so that you'll be able to find them throughout the video okay so i'm back and i'm here with kit number six and the next few ones that i have do not have a theme they're all really similar kind of has have the same things in them but different images and so I'm gonna quickly go through probably not describing unless I come up with something that's a little bit different for uh, this kit so these are cutouts from yeah uh, Anna Griffin mm -hmm. that wrapping paper some vintage wallpaper. There are some book pages. Watercolor leaves book to grow. Some little bits and pieces here. I fussy cut out some out of different books. Actually, these came back from Australia with me. Coloring. Embroidery fabric a piece of this is a piece of a table runner that my mom picked up at her church bazaar and so it had little flowers embroidered on there and I it's linen and I just cut out a flower for each kit some of my mom's loving in there okay then I have an envelope that again I stamped on with my vintage stamps it says sample and file and here are your playing cards this <laughs> this is funny i went to an estate sale and i bought some things and the sheet of these it's supposed to be printed out on the canvas but she printed it out on the wrong side of the canvas and i went ahead and just fussy cut them out and tossed it in here it's still usable but i just i like the story so yeah it's everyone in, the, in these kits here are some stickers. Stickers, stickers. A little image of a frog. A little flashcard that says flower. And this was out of a botanical book I brought back from Australia. Here is a flashcard that says Pervade the sweet odor of the roses seem to pervade the whole house. Of course, you have to have a little fairy for the fairy garden. And here is your lady in her floral dress. Pattern girl. Some bird pages and gardening pages. I did the 
this one has the Japanese garden. And then I found this sheet music in an antique book that I had. It says water lilies, birds, insects, and animals. So I put a sheet of that in this kit. Some stationery, another book page. These are decorator fabrics. This one has pansies. And then here's another sheet. They came out of a sample book, so there will be paper on one side and some holes. Another book page. Here's some Anna Griffin scrapbook paper. I just folded it in half so that it'll fit in the mailer. And then there's, I just tossed in that, it's a little card. And let's go over here. Another little note page, a card, field guide. This field guide was gorgeous. I brought this back from Australia and it is phenomenal. Uh, just the illustrations in this book. You will love that page. And look how pretty this was came out. This was just an end paper from... Uh, Mary Englebright book that I had. So I just cut it. I cut a piece and put it in each kit. And then look how cute that goes. Oh my gosh, so cute. So you get this. And another book page. This was a really uh, old page, old book. This came out of the decorator book. So it just kind of gives you the overall pattern of a fabric. Thought that'd be fun for collaging on. World of Plants. Fabulous ferns. This is a nature scene. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure what book this was, but I thought the illustrations were really cool. And then the photographs. Okay, this came out of my 1970s gardening book. I have no idea what this is. I think it's some oh a brimming bowl it's called so it's the brimming bowl of the cup fungus yeah it has a name I can't pronounce half an inch across perches beside a rotting log anyway I just thought that was really cute and you could probably take that fairy and sit her on the edge there that would be really neat here is a page that talks about the cardinal. And here is the cardinal. This, I just happened to have this coloring book, so it worked out great. That was not planned. Here's another page of that nature book. Here's a little girl planting in the ground. A bird note card. 2005. These are old and I'm parting with them. I cannot believe I'm sharing these. These are like my favorite little postalettes. Anyway, they have mushrooms. They're so cute and ferns and a butterfly and some ladybugs. I love these postalettes. I kept one for myself and then I shared the rest with you guys. The house plant. These were some Eric Carl, again, Eric Carl uh, flashcards. They're super nice quality flashcard. Uh, if you want, sometimes you can peel off that just and use the, you know, the, the illustration. But I was thinking these would make a really cute book cover if you poke two holes, put some rings through it, and then you could use it as a book cover. Oh, it also has some of that little daisy uh, fabric trim and some wrapping paper. The wrapping paper is super thin, I just wanna warn you. It's great for decoupaging, and you can fussy cut the little items out. It does say for on your birthday, but the garden scene with the butterflies worked perfectly for this. And then this one with the dogwood on here was just so pretty. And you know, even though it says for your wedding, you could still use the flowers. Another note card that says, Joy is in the little things and flowers, kind words, and children's eyes. Here is a 1969 uh, calendar. And I thought the illustrations on this 
It's actually a postcard. It's a calendar postcard. So, uh, yeah, from Germany. So I thought you could use this also. So that is kit number six. I'm gonna try to go through the next one. Um, Hi guys, okay, I'm back. And I am just going to run through this again, just like I did the other kits. This is going to be kit number seven in my Etsy shop. And again, you get a sheet of the 1969 from Germany calendar, a vintage postcard, a coloring page, my favorite postalette with the mushrooms, pretty little red bird card, garden, piece of that linen that my mom found, a hand stamped with my vintage stamps, and then you get in here uh, one of those <laughs> flower things I told you about. A little flower. This is earthen ground. You get a denison um, rose, some stickers, two playing cards, another sticker, a bird flash card, and a frog. That's in this kit. The Eric Carl. Uh, flashcard board and it has some of the butterfly moth fabric wrapped around there. A piece out of several field guides. Let's see here just some. Sweet little girl watering her flower. A little garden fairy. Some of that wrapping paper I told you guys about. A notepad. 1979 page flowers. Out of a gardening book. Uh, this is some decoupage flowers. These are die cut flowers and a little card. So you just pop those out. Here's your pattern girl from my 1960s counter, counter book. Oh, well, you want to use her. She's got flowers on. And then I fussy cut out. I had a herb and flower book I brought back from Australia. So I cut some flowers out. And then let's go through this stack. Put this down. Let's go through these really quickly. Mary Englebright. Uh, it was actually one of the um, end papers in her book, but I just thought it was really sweet. So I added that. A coloring page. And again, I'm just going through everything quickly. I kind of went into describing some things in the first video. But I just wanted you to kind of see pretty much everything is the same, but a little bit different. Um, you know, some people like to see what comes in the kit exactly so they can make a choice. You know, maybe they like gladiolas, you know, instead of roses or something. So then they pick this one. My leaf guide. Oh, this shows you how to make a little book from this template. This was a, some school book. is on English Gardens. Again, some nature pages. This is out of a nature book with real photos. And then this is illustrated. Look at the little chubby squirrel. He's so cute up there. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll hurry. Mushrooms. It's a book page. Of course, you have ants. What are good manners? <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, look at this sweet. It's a beautiful bird illustration. This came out of an ideals book. Oh, this is the rest of the English garden. I need to put that guess you'll figure that one out when you get it. Maybe I'll put the two sheets together. So English land ship. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. There is some embroidery fabric to practice on. Some stationery with flowers. These are, this is a card stock, but because it had this red that picked up like the red that's in here, it's not really red, it's pink, but, uh, and then here's your decorator fabric. So I thought I would add some of this paper in because it went with your fabric. And again, they will have holes in them and an end paper because uh, it was out of a sample book. And the same one here, oh, here. This is leaves with grapes and pears and a little butterfly. An end paper out of a book, but I just love the illustrations. And then you'll get a sheet of the antique, um, this came out of an antique book. Uh, it's called Poppies, the song. And then it has Sweet Pea Ladies on the other side and then some wrapping paper and then you'll get a piece of this wrapping paper it does say for your birthday on it but because it's a garden with the butterflies you could fussy cut it out or you could decoupage over that part and you guys are crafty you'll know what to do with it nothing will go to waste right okay so that is kit number seven and i will be right back with Kit number eight. Okay, I'm back with kit number eight. Again, botanical kit, uh, nature kit, flowers, birds, insects. Just, uh, yeah. So, let's start off with this. Some honeybees. This came out of the decorator book. And paper to the Mary Angle by Bright book. This is a nature page. I think this is a, oh treetops and that looks like a some kind of bromeliad. Um, yep, that's what it is. And then sunset. bird note card. It's like a little textured. This says ground, land, and field, and then it's French. Look how sweet she is carrying flowers in her little flowered shoes. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I just love her with her bows and her little ringlet. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. A postcard, an envelope I stamped with some vintage stamps, and uh, it'll have some old playing cards and a few stickers, a frog, and one of those canvas that lady printed out on the wrong side, and then it has a denison. A label I would not lick it I would use a glue stick very old a fussy cut plant of I think it goes that way of some sort and this came out of a book I brought back from Australia some field guide really pretty field guide from I brought back from Australia I'm sharing pages out of it with you guys 
a book page, beautiful floral. This also was from a book I got in Australia, and uh, this was the front page, but I thought the watercolor is just gorgeous. Okay, then we've got, I'm just gonna pick these up and go through them. Bunch of book pages. You have, there's over 50 items in these kits and you'll have tons of stuff to fussy cut and collage your little heart out. You could make a little journal out of the fabric if you wanted to and, um, or you could make a journal cover. I got these flashcards, they're Eric Carl flashcards and then I put some fabric so you could use it as a wrap. But you could always take this and punch two holes and make that a really cute little sketchbook for yourself. So, flower arranging, gardens, mystery plants. It's out of a science book, school book. And birds. And plant a bird coloring book. Some of the pages are going to have to be, I said in my first film, I'm sure, I don't know if you're just skipping through to see each kit, uh, but I've had to keep the shipping down because I'm sending it priority flat rate and it has to fit in a specific mailer. So I do have to fold some of the pages to make it fit. You could always pull out your iron if you want to and iron them back out flat again if it really bothers you. But if you're going to use it for decoupage or background, once you put the glue on, it's going to be, uh, it'll, the wrinkles come out. Let's see, little bird. This is a coaster, one of those paper coasters from Hallmark. But it had daffodils on it because I started out making this kit as yellow and green but then I started to add in some other things so it didn't stay with stick with the yellow and green so there are some items in this kit that may not be found in another kit however the other kit will have items that this one may not have in it so that's kind of why I'm doing the whole kit reveal video so that you can see what you're going you know what to expect in the kit when you get it uh, I don't want to part with these. There's postalettes with the mushrooms. It's my favorite. Some wrapping paper. I threw in a little marinated artichoke. Part of a marinated artichoke. It just fell out of the book and I thought, oh, green artichokes. Okay, <laughs> just throw it in there. A little recipe. This is 1969 German. Um, beautiful. German calendar postcard. These are, they look like they're watercolored, a uh, long strip of butterflies. It's just wrapping paper, but I just thought they were the coolest thing. You could fussy cut them out or put a strip of them on your page or whatever. So I, I believe, yeah, this was Hallmark paper and uh, it has like a little bit of glitz on there. I don't know how old it is but because it was butterflies, I put it in there. And these are little pop-out die cuts from Anna Griffin and then the little flower. And then I fussy cut some leaves out for you. This is again, that little card it says joys in the little things and flower kind words and children's eyes. Some more stationary, some more stationary with yellow roses. A little boy looking out at his garden and a little mouse in the garden <laughs> and a, a pretty picture out of a book this is feed the birds color and cut out the pictures and paste them near the right birds so you could challenge yourself there or on this side you can make birds happy try it the birds will thank you and it talks about what you should do outside for them 
I thought that was sweet. Then you get uh, some embroidery, a few pieces of quilting fabric that these aren't in the other kits that came in this one. Again, I said I was doing the whole yellow and green thing and then kind of got away from it when I started making the botanical nature kits. This is some 1950s wallpaper sheets and a border. Two pieces of Anna Griffin scrapbook paper. Again, these will be folded. This one's super thick, nice base for a traveler's notebook or whatever. And the decorator fabric. So you get this one and you will get this piece. And um, they will have holes in them because they were in a decorator sample book. So holes and the end will have a little piece of paper on it, but there's still a lot of fabric that you, is usable. And that is this kit number eight. I had to look at the other one. <laughs> I was like, I was losing count. Okay, so I will be right back with another kit. Uh, kit number nine. Okay, I am back with kit number nine in this series of botanical nature insects. Yeah, just a little bit of every kind of like plant and things like that. Not necessarily animals, but there may be a few animals in some of the illustrations. So more like flowers and trees and leaves and butterflies and birds and things like that. And of course I have to put in my favorite little pattern girls out of my counter book. So I'm going to share those. And um, so these don't have, other than that being the theme, the colors are just going to be kind of all over the place, you know, found in nature. and But they're perfect for uh, collage, memory keeping, journaling, um, junk journaling, anything like that. Just inspiration if you want to take a piece and, you know, try to recreate it. And uh, yeah, so it's very eclectic. So I hope you're going to love these. Uh, botanical kits and as much as I loved putting them together. Even my mom chipped in by finding some old table linen and it had a sweet, I mean this is just amazing how they tie off those threads but embroidery floral flower on there so I am sharing some of that with you guys on really pretty linen. Some, now I do have uh, maybe three items, I'm trying to look at this, that may not be quote unquote vintage. Everything's been thrifted, estate sale, flea marketing, items from out of my family members' homes and things like that. So, you know, that I've inherited or collected in my travels. So there's things from you'll uh, see that I may put some things in from Denmark or Australia or Italy, you know, uh, uh, New Zealand, Tasmania, you might see some items from different places that I've traveled uh, also. So you'll have some little flower cutouts, but everything will be pretty much vintage. My kits are about 99%. And then if I see something that goes, I'll toss you know, a little bit in, but 99% of all my items, everything is authentic. Nothing is copied. It's all authentic. Uh, I don't do copies. And unless it's like a one-off that goes with a kit, I may put it, punch a hole and put it on your outside of your package, but I haven't been doing that recently. So yeah. Um, anyway. Okay. So those this is an Eric Carle uh, flashcard, and it's really nice weight, make a great cover for a neat little pocket nature journal. And I put in a strip of the moth butterfly kind of fabric. So I figured you could use it as a tie or you could use it as the binding. Look how beautiful this 
illustration of this bird is at first I thought it was a picture it's so perfect it's gonna be beautiful try to recreate that here's a postcard and a bird note card this came out of a 1970s it's big it's too big to fit in the in the camera sorry uh out of a gardener book from the 70s a coloring page uh let's see i've got several sheets of field book pages this one came from australia it's just I love it. I'm not sharing very much of it because I'm kind of hoarding it. But I did break it out. Uh, these are arranged out of a flower arranging book. And a coloring book. Ducks for an owl. Let's see. I hand stamped some of using some of my vintage stamps on an envelope and I just put you'll get a little few bits I don't know, pieces in here a French card that says to sow the seed Whoop. I'm gonna tuck it back in here while I'm talking I already told the story but I'll tell the story again this lady printed I got this from an estate sale it was in a box lot that I bought and uh, she printed on the wrong side of the canvas, but I fussy cut it out. She did a whole slew of them on a sheet. And um, anyway, I just thought it was funny, so I just tucked it in there. A flash card that says garden. You'll get a few stickers. A Denison label rose. Do not lick this. It's old. And I don't know where it's been. Sticker. A little cut out from a book in a frog and then I'll go through these book pages so you get an end paper out of a nature book a piece of embroidery fabric you could practice slow stitching on uh, two really pretty vintage playing cards some stationery. Yes, I'm parting with my beloved mushroom postalette. Another piece of stationery. A note paper. Some of a book. End paper from Mary Englebright. And then some nature book pages. And these came out of a student uh, science book. Feathers. I thought this was really neat. This would be really cool in a book. And then this is the Victorian country house and garden. Also this beautiful nature book that I had. So you'll get it has illustrations and then uh, you'll open it up and then there'll be I think this is another illustration but these were these are photos but the illustration the turtle is amazing and then those are photos uh, over here uh, we have an avocado tree how to plant an avocado I need to look at this because I can never Normal sowing. The seed is put in a pot with light porous soil and with one third above the surface. Keep the soil moist but do not overwater. Keep the pot in a warm place but with some shade. So I never I've always tried it in the water and I never had good luck. So maybe I'll try potting it. So you put a pot with one third above the surface. But my question is, which third do you put above the surface? Let's see. Leaves fall off. Avocados need a lot of light, and they may lose their leaves in the winter. 
through lack of it. The leaves develop brown tips. Remember never to let the plant dry out. The brown leaf tips are probably due to a lack of water, although it can be a sign of the plant that needs feeding. I'm gonna try potting and I'll see what happens. I'm gonna see. I don't know how long it takes. I'll have to read, I'll have to read this before I send it to you. Okay. So maybe I'll make myself a copy. Uh, Magpie's Best, some book pages, some wrapping paper, a strip of these really pretty watercolored looking wrap, uh, it's wrapping paper, but they're butterflies. I thought they were uh, super cute and they have a little bit of shine to them. Fussy cut out one of these from an Australian book that I had. Here's a card says joy is the little things in flowers, kind words, and children's eyes. 1969 calendar from Germany, postcard. Another cutout. Fussy cut those for you people. A uh, pattern girl. This is from a my 1950s wallpaper book. And then two pieces of off cuts of wrapping paper. And I put this in here though, it says for your birthday, but I thought you could cut the flowers out, the leaves and the butterflies or use it however you want. Two pieces of Anna Griffin paper, just because. And then this illustrated book page. This came out of the same book that these came out of. So these are decorator fabric. It will have two holes and some paper on the end. And you will get two pieces of that. Again, let's see, it's got some paper and some holes, but you just cut those off and use this whole center part. You can use it to make a little booklet or cut it in strips, put it on tags, whatever. The uses are endless. And then this came out of the decorator book so that you can see how the pattern one is like in, on used on a big thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm losing it. I've been doing this too long. And some really pretty book papers, uh, some florals. Okay, so this is kit number nine. And um, they will be in my Etsy shop by the time you see this video. Now I will already have them listed and uh, you will see the link below. My shop is Preppy Crafty Girl in Etsy and I will put the link below. Give me a thumbs up because analytics loves it. And please become a subscriber. I'm going to do some journal with me's coming up. I'm so excited because I have been working in my harmony book. Um, and I'm going to be working on some pages coming up. So this is my harmony book. The Reset Girl is doing this book right now. And I have a dear friend of mine that paid for me to take this because of kind of what I'm going through right now. And um, yeah, so it's been really fun. It's been a fun uh, class that I, we've been taking and I wasn't planning on really doing a flip through, but I have some journaling that I need to do. These are my pages that I've done so far, but um, I've only done like that page of journaling. and. I'm really far behind, so yes, I need to look at this graphic that I got out of the magazine I had. Um, so, like, I haven't even been, just kind of been doing the backgrounds, and then I need to journal. So that's all I have done so far. Shame on me. And it's almost over, so <laughs> it's a four-week thing. I still have to go back and watch. But you know what? Life gets in the way and no big deal. I want to do this probably uh, for the year. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that was Definite Rabbit Trail. I will see you back here with my Harmony book working on it. Have a great day.
crafty day.